Welcome back, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. I am back on KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series, episode number 18. And it is just after, yes, it's that, just that, Valentine's Day. Actually, it was a few days ago, um, but I had that extra heart. My daughter made me some hearts and placed them all, placed it in. Place them all in my man cave here that I record in. Isn't that wonderful? But enough about my personal life. What are we doing today? Well, let me first show you something. You see off in the distance, above those trees, that little stack of ice there. And a stack of ice there. And a stack of ice there. Right there, you know. Uh -huh. The obelisk in the middle of the ice biome. And the stack of ice there. That defines my spawn area, my spawn chunks. So, um, my spawn chunks are now marked off, not with a fence. I was going to put a fence around this whole thing, but I did realize that if I were to do that, I would cut this building in half, and that would be counterproductive. See, and I just spent a whole bunch of time to make this look decent. And I don't want to rip it down. So what we are going to be doing today, we're going to build that. Yes, that's a sneak preview. Let me give you a heads up. That is a breeder farm sort of thing. Um, and in this episode, in the future, we are going to build it even though it is shown there. How did I do that? Well, by accident, yes, by accident, I went out and cleared some of my old video files and deleted a whole bunch of them. And like a nincompoop, I deleted the introduction to this video. So I have the other four videos that encompass this particular video, but not the beginning of the video. So after I made all this stuff on cam, I tried to make the video and realized my intro is gone. So guess what? In the future, I have gone back in time and recorded the intro. So, um, yeah, we're working on that today. Yeah, yeah, I can't tell you what it is. Well, it's a breeder farm, but I can't tell you how it is. I, in the rest of the video, I show you how to make that and show you some of the results. But before we go on to making that, I wanted to point out real quick I did not show this to you, I do not believe, but just in case I have, uh, bear with me. You see the front side of this wall of my tree farm here. Uh, the bottom is kind of like blue, the glass in between this, I don't know, this up arrow. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, the design I made for this building. It is blue, blue, purple. I added the purple in the front. Um, I hope you like it. You really can't see it that well from here. Let me get down from here real quick. This is the center of my spawn chunks, by the way. These three blocks and this block right here. This is actually the center of my spawn chunk. And this is a um, slime chunk. And that's why this opening is in the corner of a chunk. Because this is a slime chunk right there. So that's why there's a hole down into the ground. That's where my slime farm is. And my little iron golem. So let me just show you the front of this building real quick and and then you can proceed to the future part of the video which was recorded in the past hmm. but that's what i'm talking about there's the front it's kind of, it's got the purple face um i kind of like it um but it does need something to separate the front from the roof so i don't know if you have any ideas what i can put up here um to separate that I'll come over here without looking at my villagers. I'll try not to, so I don't give away too much for the future. Um, so you see up here where it connects to the ceiling or the yeah the ceiling, the glass sun that I have up there. Um, it needs some sort of separation there. So if you have an idea, I might just put half slabs on top of there. Um, let me know. All right. Well, off to the rest of the video. No more of the future. Now we're going back into the past. All right, guys, I um, decided to put up the other, the last point on uh, the spawn chunks here. So that's where it is. So my spawn chunks are pretty big, just like everybody else's. <laughs> um, 
So I'll figure what figure out what I want to do with that. Um, specifically, it was mapped out so I know where I can put the iron golem farm. Um, and I started working on the project over here. I need a good way of getting over here still. And we're going to finish this project over here in the next few minutes, hopefully. Um, so yes, this is it. Let me get up here real quick. So we have our doors, which are used for villagers. Yes, let's close them all. Villagers going to stand right here. And the reason why this time I have them so close to the ground is that, um, kind of hoping to get a whole bunch of zombies to, um, come over here. This is also a temporary, um, setup. I don't think I'm going to keep the villager breeder over here once the iron golem farm goes up. But I do need to breed some villagers to get some trades in there and also for the iron golem farm. So this is temporary, but still I want it to look decent. Um, so I have this low to the ground, so it will attract zombies, or zombirts, whatever you want to call them. And my goal is to uh, have the zombies come in and, oh, come down here and then get washed to right here, where um, they can't go any farther. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this either, because uh, I don't know if I want zombies so close to all my villagers. But, as you see from this angle, there's a, the breeder platform where the single guy sits to cause the breeding at the other platform, which I need to make. Um, once the villager is bred, it will come over and down the chute and end up right here. Behind this thing. And then I can trade them or get a cart and take them, take them away. <laughs> but... I'm hoping to breed villagers till I get 150 or so villagers right in that spot. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to have the zombies come over here yet. Because I figured even with the water stream that's going to be underneath, that's going to push them over to here. I thought, well, what happens if a creeper gets pushed over here? What happens if a skeleton gets pushed over here and then shoots the creeper and they decide to blow up? And this is dirt, snow, and ice, which doesn't hold up too well to Creeper Blast, which may damage the glass over here, which will allow my villagers to get out, which would be a massive... That would kind of anger me a little bit, to say the least. I also changed this door because I realized I had a wooden door here, and I don't think iron doors affect breeders at all. But if that's the truth, I'll make some sort of piston door here somehow. We know the wall is one thick and see-through. I was thinking maybe doing a two-piston push-up from the bottom. <laughs> Just something so I have a door there that's not a door. Um, if the iron affects the breeder or not. So I'm going to start getting to work on this. And I will show you through the process of that in a minute. Alright, so this is the height I've decided to make the breeder platform on, which is about 12 blocks higher than that. I think it only has to be 8 blocks higher than that, but I don't want this to be messed up, so I'm going up a couple extra blocks just to make sure. So what I do is, um, of course make it out of glass, because that is my favorite thing to do. So, um, basically, we make a 7x5 platform with this little 3-inch thing, or 3-block thing here. So, I'm going to go back 5. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And we'll bring it across 5. And fill in the holes and ignore my beautiful platform and then somehow we put a hole in the ground and uh, let me get some dirt I should have done this before I made the platform but I'm gonna go underneath somehow underneath 
There we go. And I'm gonna plug that hole. Um, this hole is gonna be where the baby villagers hang out. When the babies are born, thank you, they are gonna end up falling into that hole and when they grow up there'll be a water source above them that will bring them back up to and over to the holding pen which will be down there so yeah we got the hole and then we build a two high block wall around the whole thing kind of fill in these little crevices here So basically, basically we have a 12 block area that is uncovered right now. Then leading from the front here, what I'm calling the front, um, we're going to put one block down there, then two, then two. That's where the villagers that are breeding are going to stay. This is the way they're going to go when they make a baby. And then eventually there'll be an output that goes over this way to that um area over there and then we place signs um, we got signs on me I actually came prepared we put a sign down there we put a sign right here and we put a sign right there and then with sign you know that usually comes next is water we put one um, water source block up there underneath that sign and another one there which pushes all the babies and stuff to right here and I guess I'm gonna have to cover that up hopefully that water doesn't freeze before I'm done and then after the water is placed we take out this block and this block we um, put any sort of block right here whatever looks good for your design and throw a dispenser in front of that so ah no not up let me just stand here and then we put a thing of water in it and then we go to the back of it get a button put it on the back of this block hit it and the water comes out and we got this standing water right there and that's where the villagers will be standing so the first part of this is all done. It's really hard to see with all the glass. So I um, will tell you to go to Unary Bit. Um, he has a tutorial. That's a tutorial for this particular thing. And it really... Um, hmm. Thank you. It really explains how to do this properly. Then we build up the breeder around this hole. Oops. Jeez. And we kind of do it like this. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really going to have to cover that. Basically, we want the, the, the nine in the center, the three around each side but not there I'm trying not to fall into the water there we go I made that badly but Basically, you want the, the eight ring around the center, then three on each side. Then what we do is we take the three on each side. We build that up. One. And then here in the center, where uh, where is the center? Okay. We just put one, ones in the corners. So there's like a cross pattern here. And that's where the villagers will throw the food when they're sharing the food with each other while they're bouncing up and down in this piece of ice. Water. 
Then you fill in another layer on top of the three on the outsides again. So you have this center area. Then you make that, oops, that one can go bye bye. Then you make your um, eight blocks circle around the center point, and that's a lost block. Then exactly. in the front here, you kind of build a temporary area. To loop the villagers around you'll understand in a second I'm gonna finish uh, building up these walls here a little bit better I'm gonna get some more glass and I'll be right back okay I have the glass um, there's now two holes here one there and one there and we need to in and uh, put a too high glass wall around it I mean you don't need guys don't you need to use the glass right now um, you can use whatever blocks you want, but seeing everything in my world is glass, I'm using glass. <clears throat> now that I got the loop up, I need to um, create a water elevator for... How low is that water? For the villagers to climb up. So if I put that there, that eliminates the water there, so that's not good. So what I need to do, I can jump down here because I'm making a water elevator. I put that one too high, did I? No, that's right. Um, you guys know how to make a water elevator, even though I'm struggling a little bit here for some reason. Put some water right there. Oh. Oh, I forgot that there's not glass back here. I'm leaking all over the place down there. There we go. Fix that problem. So, I don't think I leaked on anything. So, we have this elevator. Um, oh, we want to put a thing of glass. Uh, a sign right there so we can add a water source right here right there so the villagers can climb up then slide across over here then fall down that hole so basically this thing is done um, I'm gonna just cover this up with dirt right now what I need to do is put a couple of villagers in this hole right here. And um, what will happen so that is that they'll be bouncing up and down here. Give them food. They'll share the food. When they give birth, the kid will pop out the side and go down here. Ooh, lucky he didn't fall there. And the kid will stay here. When he grows up, he's going to hit this water supply, water source, and swim up. So much easier to do this in creative. Swim up to this water stream, fall over, and add to the initial breeder cell. When this gets to a certain number, I think I like 40. It could be 25. I'm going to have to look that up. Then I'll get rid of this um, loop thing and make a a glass tunnel over to the drop chute over here um, into my R2-D2 so then I can use the villagers how I want they will come eventually to this drop chute and fall and wait down there so that is done um, I know showing you how to build it wasn't that great but uh, go to unary bit villager villager breeder and uh, you'll find the tutorial for this it's the best breeder I know of so um, it's a great one place to start